What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Obsession. I'm Carl Bethke. I am Mike Stadler. Mike. Yo. Huh. We got one here. It's kind of a interesting question from Jared. Jared asked us, "What are our thoughts on if it's about a kill or about the journey for us each year when we're hunting? Is it about the kill or about the journey?" Kind of about both, I think. Don't mm -hmm. you think? Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if people <clears throat> look at what we do and think that we enjoy killing animals. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I hate to call it kill because it's not. Yeah, I don't like kill. it. I'm not killing. I don't I? Yes, you're killing the animal yes. technically, but I, I like to call it harvest. a harvest. Yeah. The animal, and it's um, obviously that's the reward at the end for me. It's not taking the life of an animal. It's not a fun thing. I think if you think it's fun, you have a problem. Yeah, <laughs> no, I agree. And oh. it, you know, I think it's for me, and I know it's for you too. But yeah. for me, <laughs> I'm gonna say I think the whole build up, it's year round, getting ready. To do the thing that we love to do the most mm -hmm. you know and obviously like anything you do you want to be successful so yeah. if you're successful at the end of that it's to me it's uh <laughs> it's a uh, more of a big time respect back to the game um, any animal that i've taken i feel the same i don't feel any better or worse about a doe mm -hmm. as compared to a, a big buck or a smaller buck it doesn't matter to me um, because they're not trying to die no. So it's, to me, it's being able to be, whether it's lucky enough or smart enough, one time to outsmart that animal that lives in those situations all the time. You know, so it's a, it's a back and forth battle that you normally lose. Agreed. I think that's the, uh, that's the allure of bow hunting in general, is the majority of the time, especially when you first start out, is you're not going to be successful. No. It's we learning. Yeah, no, no, no. And it's learning everything you need to know, how the animal <laughs> reacts, how they're going to be, how they think, how they, uh, how they move through a terrain, how they, they think about their, their daily lives. I think that's important. Uh, I think a lot of what we see nowadays on TV and, you know, even to say on the internet, uh, the woodsmanship, the ability to understand the animal, um, the animals you're chasing, uh, has gone away. Mm -hmm. The respect, not that people don't respect animals, but I see a lot of, on, on the internet, a lot of, um, you know, it's about an animal such and such size, some such uh, age group such and such uh, location where you're where you're hunting and I, I'm going to be it's harder for me to hunt because I hunt public land well there's arguments both ways that type of deal we're not we're not pitted against each other it's not a game it's not a win or lose situation mm -hmm. uh, for points or anything like that we don't go shoot animals because we're we're trying to impress either the people that watch the show or even each other or any of our friends mm -hmm. <clears throat> because we love to do it and we love to chase the game. It's the game, I guess, more for me, I guess, in his opinion, I would say the journey. Mm -hmm. You know, our own land, we spend every waking hour, if we're not thinking about it, we're working on it. And prepping, so we'll have a opportunity, and hopefully, a buck, hopefully, yeah, hopefully. Uh, when we uh, get a chance to hunt. Um, yeah, it's you know another thing too. We don't take animals' lives to just do it. No. And I know a lot of people that do that yeah. don't that don't eat it. You know, <clears throat> um, that I think is sucks. Yeah, no, I agree. I think you should be hunting it for, that should be one of your reasons, obviously. Um, yeah. We we do here, and I know you do, live most of the year off of that's what our meat is. Yeah, 100%. You 
you know, it's not, yes, I can go buy meat. Right. It'd be cheaper, <laughs> you know, yeah, especially if you start adding it up, you know, and, um, I don't know that animals should mean something to you. And people ask a lot. I know people have asked my wife because mm-hmm. they've been here, um, and have seen my wall or seen Carl's wall and back. Like, Doesn't that, you know, why do you want all that and blah, blah, blah on your wall? And that's wrong. And maybe to you it is, but every one of these on my wall is respect. Mm-hmm. Back to that animal. Yep. You know, this one sitting in front of us, if you're watching us, was a buck off my property that got hit on the road that we found dead. Yeah. Had we found it in time, we would have saved the deer, the whole deer itself. Right. We could not. So, you know, I just took his head off. Yep. Had the skull clean. I'll keep it. With respect to him. Yep. You know, um, I'm not going to tell anybody I shot it. I didn't kill it. You know. But did I know the deer? I did. Yeah. Seen it a lot of times. Watched it walk past me. It's so it sucks to me when you see stuff like that happen. Carl had another one he found on his property. Yeah. You know. Same deal. And you've seen us. You've seen both of us emotional over uh, taking them. When we take animals, it happens every time for us. You just don't always see it. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> That's true. Sometimes we're by ourselves. We obviously you don't see. It's it. all right, yeah. bro. You know the. That That's what it's all about, right there. He's excited I'm like, That's a good deer. To I'm going to kill him if he comes. Part where you're going to see. And that right. That's huge for us, you know. I don't care if anybody. They had a problem with that. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, that that's the ultimate respect from us. So yeah, I, I like the journey to it. Obviously, yes, we want to be successful, but I like everything that goes into it because <clears throat> what Carl and I put into it makes that happen. So we're making ourselves have an opportunity to be successful by our work, so it means a lot to us. We're not just going somewhere, somebody puts us in a stand. Right. You know, like, hey, there's a, there's a 10 pointer that's gonna come by here about four o'clock. Right. He comes by here every day. Yeah, I've been watching you him know? for weeks and he does this and this and this. Yes. I don't have a lot of respect for that. That's not really, in my opinion, hunting. I do have a lot of respect for people that go hunt on public land and, and you know, do their thing. and any DIY hunts, anything like that. You know, if you take it as serious as Mike and I take it, I think I think you understand where we're coming from. Yeah. Um, and we say it, I've said it, I know Mike said it multiple times, you guys have probably heard us, that, you know, bow hunting is a lifestyle for us. So, you know, when Mike says he goes to the gym seven days a week and I go to the gym five and six days a week, that's exactly what we do. So we can yeah. do what we want to do in the fall. 100%. To be successful, two hundred percent. Yeah, and the older we get, the harder it is. Trust me. That's a million percent. <laughs> but, but it's it's important to uh, to always show respect to the game that you're hunting, and I I just don't see a lot of that nowadays. Where, where not everybody. Don't get me wrong. I'm just I'm just saying that I I see people, in my opinion, hunting for the wrong reason where they're trying to impress other people or if you're out there trying to trying to film your hunt and all of a sudden thinking you're going to get sponsorship because you shoot such and such animal, uh, that, that's not how it works, you know. Um, very few right. people will ever have any opportunity like that. Right. You should be hunting for yourself, not for, for anything like that, yeah. my opinion. I agree. So we both decided we think it's about the journey. I would say more. I'd say that's a, it's probably okay. uh, twenty. <laughs> yeah. The harvest, the harvest of the animal is a bonus. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. We both want to be successful yeah. every time we go, and we will do everything we can until that last waking second on a hunt to be successful, as long as it's legal and ethical. Correct. Um, and at that point, if we don't or aren't successful. Yeah. It isn't because we didn't put a, our 100% or 110% forth. Yeah. So the journey is probably more important to us. Yes. So hopefully that answers your question. We appreciate the question. Thanks for listening, guys. Uh, if you get a chance and want to put a comment down, uh, we'd like to hear from you. Uh, what do you guys think? Is it about the harvest or is it about the journey for you guys? You know, we'd like to hear a lot of your guys' answers because we'd like to hear from the people that that watch us. We want to hear what you guys think. Um, That being said, if you want to listen to just the podcast, you can listen to us on Apple, Google, iHeart, Spotify, and Amazon. Watch us right here on YouTube at Rush Outdoors Wisconsin. If you want to subscribe to the channel, hit the Reaper in the lower right-hand corner. We appreciate that. 
share and like. We'd really appreciate that also. Yeah, buddy. Thanks for checking us out. Buddy.